Hey everyone, I am back and uh, we have a very special video for today. Nintendo just dropped all of their quarter three, uh, their financial update for quarter three uh, for Nintendo Switch. We have a bunch of sales data to go through, including updates to their top 10 selling games. Uh, we have updates to their hardware, their software, all that jazz. Metroid, I'm really, really excited. Uh, before we get into this, I just want to remind you that we are giving away a Nintendo Switch OLED a PlayStation 5, or an Xbox Series X to one lucky winner. All you have to do is go to that Gleam.io link down in the description or the pinned comment to enter. All right, let's just get right into this. We're going to start with an update to the top 10 software. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, as of December 31st of 2021, has sold 43,350,000 units. Like, holy crud, that's amazing. Uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons is still at number two at 37 million. Um, 620,000 units. Next up, we have uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate at 27,400,000 units. We have Breath of the Wild here at 25,800,000 units. Uh, we have Pokemon Sword and Shield at 23,900,000 units. We have Super Mario Odyssey here at 23,020,000 units. We have Super Mario Party at 17,390,000. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee at 14,000,000. 330,000. A new member to the group, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, likely going to pass Let's Go very quickly here at 13,970,000. Ring Fit Adventure rounds out that top 10 at 13,530,000 uh, units. Now, let's go look at dedicated hardware. We now know that Nintendo Switch through last year uh, on December 31st has sold 103. 0.54 million. So 103,540,000 units. We actually talked about this a number of weeks ago, saying that it was very obvious that the Nintendo Switch had already sold over 100 million units. And that was before we even got to the end of the fiscal year. Now we have the official update. That is huge. But what's cool is here, we can see how it compares to everything else. Obviously, it surpassed the Nintendo 3DS quite some time ago and the Wii U, but it has officially surpassed the Nintendo Wii. So there's no more speculation on this. It did outsell the Nintendo Wii. Now, next up in his sights is going to be some very interesting prospects. We have the Game Boy up next at 118 million. Uh, and then after that, it's basically the Nintendo DS. There is nothing else in the way. The Nintendo Switch is currently Nintendo's third best selling platform of all time. I'm sure by the end of this fiscal year, it'll at least outsell the Game Boy. Uh, so it should be well on pace to be the second best selling system of all time. The question is obviously, can it touch this hardware number here of 154 uh, million units by the Nintendo DS? We'll have to wait and see. Software number wise, you know, it's got a ways to go. It's still at 766.41 uh, million units. Uh, yeah, that's, you know, it, it's got a way to go to catch up to Wii and DS. Uh, obviously the best or most amount of software they've ever sold uh, in any given generation. So that is those details. But they also dropped these three documents um, here. Uh, this one's like an explanation showing off all of their financials. Uh, and you can see, obviously, their net sales compared to year on year. It is down a 6% decrease, 9% in operating profit, and 1.3 points in operating profit ratio. So year on year, Nintendo is down. Uh, they do seem to later explain this away as, hey, we have a lot more supply con constraints this fiscal year than we did last fiscal year. So that's despite Switch OLED coming out, they haven't been able. This is a breakdown of the major regions for their sales the americas which includes north america and south america make up a vast majority obviously of their sales at 42.8 percent europe chimes in at 26.5 percent japan at 21 percent and then the rest of the world at 9.7 that would include china and all other countries um here you can see their gross profits and all that that's a lot of money uh, but still down four and a half percent year on year not you know they're, they're, they're kind of down across the board except for their gross profit ratio uh, their profit their profit ratio is actually a little bit higher year on year. This would suggest a decrease in investments. Um, so yeah, you know that's kind of cool. Uh, what you guys are obviously very curious about are the sales of their software. Now we already talked about Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe during this quarter, um, or at least during this fiscal year, has moved 7.96 million. Uh, we do have uh, sales here for Mario Party Superstars. Chiming in at 5.43 million units. That is awesome. 5.43 million. Now, it is notable that hardware sales are not on pace with last year. It is about six, well, more like five million short of the hardware pace from the prior fiscal year. However, 
Nintendo didn't really sell a lot of units in the final quarter. Uh, if you look at this 24.10 number and you go to look at their full financial report, they only moved about 25 million units. Now, with Pokemon Legends Arceus coming out, maybe some of this can be made up. I don't think we're going to match 25 million uh, this fiscal year. I do think they could get to 22 or 23. But again, a lot of this is going to be about supply constraints. Um, the base Nintendo Switch model so far this fiscal year has sold 11.79 million units. We now know Nintendo Switch OLED models have sold 4 million, which is ahead of the Switch Lite. Uh, which has obviously um, been out the entire fiscal year. So obviously Switch OLED is in high demand. And I think we'll see this year, uh, this upcoming fiscal year, that Switch OLED is going to become the top-selling Switch model. All right. Now, there's a certain big title you guys are probably wondering about. What the hell up happened with Metroid Dread? We all want to know how Metroid Dread sold. Did it top 3 million? Well, how's it going? Well, here he is. 2.3 million units so this is just for the period of october through december of 21 um pokemon brilliant nine with 11.7 million mario party superstars at 4.8 uh this is uh april through december sorry um then we got skyward sword hd and there were 3.2 and then we have metroid dread at 2.3 so 2.3 million is that magical number that we were hoping that metroid would top two mil it did do that now the question is, can it top three? And doing so would make it the best-selling Metroid of all time. It is on pace, well on pace, to be the best-selling Metroid of all time. But we'll see if it can get just enough sales to get there. 700,000 more needed. Still incredible to me to see some of the other sales going on in here. Uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe obviously still crushing it. Animal Crossing still crushing it. Um, you know, you look at other evergreen titles for Nintendo, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Zelda, you know, even Mario Golf. Super, you know, super rush, just uh, just crushing it, crushing it, crushing it. Now again, down year on year, but you know, <laughs> they've had a lot of supply issues. <laughs> um, and then they go over their digital sales, and you can see their digital sales were basically flat, a little bit down. But again, they're also down in system sales. So uh, they talk about announced products coming up between January and March. Obviously, we have Pokemon Legends Arceus that just came out, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Now these are just going to be first party titles, so. If you're looking for like Project Triangle Strategy, that's not going to be on this list, although we know that also comes out in March. Uh, they also have their million sellers updated here. Uh, and what's interesting, I think they said there's 29 million sellers, 22 of them published by Nintendo. Uh, so we can go over some that didn't make that top 10 list. Um, so you like you know, Super Mario uh, 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Looks like it's moved about, I don't know, what is that, uh, 8 million? Pretty sure it's 8 million. 850,000 units there. Uh, let's see here. We have um, Super Mario Party, 17 mil. New Pokemon Snap uh, at, uh, I'm guessing that's 2,360,000. Uh, Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe at 12 million. And so on and so forth. Miitopia is actually a million seller at 1.63 million. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 at 11.04. Brain Big Brain Academy, Brain vs. Brain, looks like it crossed a million at 1.28. That's really good. That, that game came out in December, so that's really good for that series. WarioWare Get It Together is a million seller as well at 1.24 million. Obviously, we already know about these games. And then Game Builder Garage is officially a million seller at 1.01 million. So good for Nintendo. Pretty much everything they release at this point is going to sell at least a million units. That's crazy to think that no matter what Nintendo puts out, a million is going to happen. And then you have all these other sales. Now, we get to the launch dates here. And this is quite interesting because these launch dates are just going to deal with April 2021 through December 2021. What we really want to look at is what's coming down the line. So, uh, we obviously know about Pokemon Legends Arceus already out. Uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Okay, this is, this is uh, you know in Japan. Splatoon 3, still scheduled for this year. The sequel, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, still scheduled for this year. Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope, still scheduled for this year. Bayonetta 3, still scheduled for this year. And Metroid Prime 4 is TBA. Now, you look over here, here and there's a couple additional titles. Advance Wars 1 plus 2 Reboot Camp is added here for the United States. And so is Triangle Strategy because Nintendo is publishing this title in the United States. So, when you look at this list, nothing has changed. Officially, as of this financial report, today, February 3rd, Nintendo has not gotten any delays officially for any of the titles announced for this year 
So Advanced Wars 1 plus 2 Reboot Camp, which technically doesn't have a release date yet, even though it got leaked through the eShop, still scheduled to come. Splatoon 3, still coming. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel, still coming. Bayonetta 3, still coming. Metroid Prime 4 obviously doesn't have any date and is just TBA. So again, this is good news. This is the best news you could hope. No official delays yet for any of the major titles announced for this year. That is awesome. And then it gets into um, third-party publishers and stuff that they have coming up as well. Uh, so yeah, that's basically the in and out of this. You know, I'll, I will go glance at my Twitter feed quick because sometimes there's additional information that drops. Uh, but I, I don't think there's going to be much here. You know, we got Paul Gale here uh, talking about um, how he was right on it selling over 100 million units. I never doubted him for a second. He's pretty much right on everything. Jeff Grubb is showing his excitement as well. So, yeah. And this is kind of a cool headline from Nintendo Everything. It's obviously the best selling home console of all time. Um, I think, you know, we've already known this at this point. It's just got uh, two handhelds in front of it. So, Nintendo's crushing it. And I think that's the big lesson to take away from this is Nintendo is killing it. Uh, I, I, I don't really know how else to put it. This was obviously a down year, year over year, but supply constraints. Nintendo is doing well. They're doing very healthy. They have a massive year ahead. Pokemon Legends Arceus was a great way to kick off the year. Nintendo is pushing the beginning of this year hard. And folks, at this point, all that's really left is an investor Q&A. We shouldn't have that Q&A for another day or two. Usually takes a day or two to get that Q&A. And then, well, Nintendo Direct, folks. You know it's coming. I know it's coming. We all know it's coming. So investor Q&A next, where Nintendo could drop a few sparse details. And then Nintendo Direct time. All right, folks. I am Nathaniel Ruffeljance from Nintendo Prime. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to this special late night video and I'll catch you in the next one.